Okay. Uh, I have a channel. I have a channel called Perfect Dabba. I do debate for Islam. You Sunni? Okay. I'm not Sunni. I'm not Shia. I converted to Islam. Okay. Yeah, but what Islam? I converted. You converted. Okay. I converted to Quran. And you converted to Quran. Yeah. The, the teaching oh, of Allah wow. subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. and, and, <laughs> and the, the teaching of Prophet Muhammad is <laughs> both in line with the Quran. So you can call no, me no, so, so me or whatever. No, okay. No, first but, okay. Just uh, my question is that before you question, this is not a Jazeera channel here. Right. We're like Jazeera studio. The speaker's gone now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's not the studio here. You think you can dictate to me? No, no. We we control this place. I'm asking. We. I just have you know, idiot, they're gonna take this part. We come to this place. Yeah, Muslim said, "We want to Sharia." Yes, yes. I, I, I'm, my, my question is. Firstly, you question. Yes. So you become a Muslim. Yes. Alhamdulillah, Allah guide you to Islam. Yes. How long have you been Muslim now, so far? Uh, I was 25. Now I'm 60. I was. 25. You look very young for. Uh, have well, you been 18? Nivia. <laughs> I was 25. Yeah. Became atheist, and then yeah. after nearly you become 10 Muslim. years, I became Muslim. So Alhamdulillah. Now we are Alhamdulillah. May Allah. Where is your question? My question is that there is a hadith, despite Quran say lie crap in him, okay, and says to Prophet Muhammad, okay, you just invite, you are not controller over them, okay, let them accept or reject. A hadith Bukhari says, anyone leave Islam, kill him, okay. So, my question is that, do you think that I should have been killed when I became a Muslim? Firstly, Islam teach us, yes. and there is no control between the Quran and the you mentioned. La ikra fi dimin, you cannot force someone yeah, to become a Muslim. Okay. But if you are a Muslim, then you have to follow Allah's law. Okay. Allah okay. said, okay. Ma, um, okay. wa Allah, wa ati'u rasul. Allah says, Udkhulu fi silmi kafa. Right. Allah said, Fala wa rabbika la yu'minuna hatta yuhakimuka fi ma shajara baynahum. Okay? So, the verse you mentioned does not contradict the law of apostasy okay. so in islamic teaching so and the islamic the there's no 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 as a muslim yes for example you have to pray all right as a muslim it's compulsory to pray yes. and the muslim leader should force you to pray okay, uh, otherwise you get punished okay, okay? for example understand that and I, for example like this in britain if you have if you come under the british uh, territory territory right. they will force you to do certain things all right. Okay, yes. they're forced to, but if you're outside, they cannot force you. Right. Okay, yes. so when you are a Muslim, mean you submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Then you have, because La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah, okay. not just statements, right. it necessitates that you single out Allah in all acts of worship, okay. and you have to follow Prophet Muhammad. Right. Right. So there is no contradiction right. between so the two. Mean, so, therefore, yeah, therefore, I should be killed. Are you posted, by the way? I was posted, I said. So, alhamdulillah, no one killed you. Okay. And it's hard for everyone to kill you. Okay. Why are you, are you, why are you worrying now? No, no, why? I don't understand why you're worrying now. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, you, you, I'm worried. Oh, is that the guilty I'm, side? Okay, wait. Step by step, step by step. Yes, I'm, I'm worried about those. I'm worried about those. I'm worried about those. 25 who become apostate, they get killed. I don't know. No, no, no. For anyone. And they don't get the chance to become Muslims. No, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. They do they Islamic Sharia. Ah. No, listen, listen. They get killed. You don't know the law. Okay. Islamic Sharia, ah, okay. when someone it becomes a apostate, right. not for anyone, by the way, right. okay? So the, the Muslim leader will get the Islamic scholars, uh -huh. the judges, right. to deal with him, okay? okay? To give him yeah. chances, chances to put in prison. Yes. Depends. Abi Talib, there's Abi Talib. You have to learn the English. If you put that sword but, uh, yeah. in No, no, that's for sword. No, 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 no. The sword, not yet. We'll All come right. after. Ah, okay, after. No, just discussion. Okay. okay? Discussion. So, because when someone become a post okay. there's two types of a post Yes. Someone who lives Islam and he lives between him and Allah, okay. and he lives normal life. All right. And someone who start in a Muslim country doing openly, then this person he's going to cause greater harm. Okay. okay. So, for the sake of protecting the Ummah from his harm, then Allah legislated the capital punishment. For example, in this country. And in the, in the around the world, okay. when uh, COVID-19 came about, the European countries and the, uh, many countries came to agreement. Anyone put a video or okay. speak about COVID-19 okay. in, uh, in opposition to who organization, World Health Organization, you should uh, put, uh, put it down and put him in prison. Why put him in prison and put it down? Because now they're looking at, okay, there's freedom of speech, okay? okay? But if, if he's a freedom of speech, is going to cause greater harm by giving misinformation and the people will be killed. Therefore, 
we have to shut him down for the sake of the greater benefit. So if someone leaves Islam between him and Allah, there no one cares about him. But if you do openly now, then you are looking for troubles. You want to be killed. Yeah, okay, exactly. so you mean that... That's exactly. it. Okay. No, no. That's it. Don't play around. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then you mean... Yeah, okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> then you mean that I should have been killed, yes? Why are you talking about yourself? I don't understand. You're no, Muslim. Because, because I was an apostate and yeah. I was 10 years apostate. Okay. My, uh, my Alhamdulillah, Allah guide you. Yes. So, Alhamdulillah, you say yeah. Alhamdulillah. But I don't think you're Muslim, by the way, because I'm no. doubting you. Because the way you talk about this Sharia. No, it's Quran okay, complete. Yeah. It's Quran complete. Yeah. It's Quran complete. Yes. Quran is complete. It's preserved. Sure. Yeah, preserved. Yes. Word by word. Huh? Word by word. And letter by letter. And letter by letter. Yes. Oh. But there is a hadith that says two verses of Quran was eaten by a goat. No, no, That's this hadith. First, no, 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 no. The first this hadith. No, sure. This hadith is that. This, this, this hadith. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. First hadith is that. So, this hadith is daif. The first thing, first thing, first thing. Okay. Brother, what? Well, let me finish. What does he mean by the daif? Weak, weak, and yes. authentic. So yes. it means that well, there is a possibility that it is authentic. There no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Okay. Uh, anyway, check out yourself. Because okay. right. you can't clearly. No, no, brother. Like I can't say, it's not your studio. It's okay. our studio. Right. Okay, <laughs> take care. Look out, sir. Anyway, I have to say. Anyway, my Allah, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. And may Allah guide us to straight. Please, everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, Shamsi just spewing his nonsense. <laughs> I hope uh, you guys can hear me. Let me know how's the audio in the chat. Today uh, we have uh, a special guest, the gentleman that you saw in the video, uh, trying to debate with Shamsi. But Shamsi, of course, with his honestly look, I, I paused it at a very nice time. Look, look at his face. Like look at this man's face. Like look at him. Just look at him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, he spewed so much lies and exactly arrogance. My sister here knows that man is super arrogant in the way that he's explaining himself. And he just spewed a bunch of lies to pander to the people around him and to pander to the country that's in. But uh, yeah, my uh, brother Muji from Perfect Dawah, I'm going to post his uh, channel in the chat for people to go check it out. So uh, he's going to introduce himself, obviously. But what I wanted to, to know is that he went to Speaker's Corner um, exactly one week ago, right? I believe it was one week ago. And uh, he had a few discussions with uh, with people there. And he was more so focusing on the issues with the hadith and is the Quran complete. And uh, <laughs> we know we, we, we kind of figured out how it would go because as you've seen yesterday, I, I released a video. And how those people, uh, when they say, oh, come challenge us and let's have a discussion. But as soon as you come and discuss with them, they just quickly to ban you or they just want to run away from the conversation. As you saw that, um, as you saw Shamsi do there. So now, without further ado, I would like you to meet my good friend, Muji. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, brother. How are you? Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you too and everyone else. Thank you for having me, my brother. Uh, of course, man. It's um, me and you are uh, me and you are on uh, modern day to pay often. We're the yeah. two people <laughs> who are representing just the Quran's message. Yes. And um, subhanAllah, it seems like we get some interesting discussions more than debates. And um, well, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Muzi. Yes, um, I am a former apostate, of course, yeah, at the age of 25. I decided that uh, God doesn't exist, yeah, and that was a lack of knowledge because I didn't have enough knowledge about different things. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, I wasn't killed by Shamsi and <laughs> people like him <laughs> and Ali Dawa to be proud of, <laughs> you know, we are proud of it. <laughs> and so I wasn't killed by them. So Alhamdulillah, after nearly 10 years, I started to realize I was wrong. So. I slowly, slowly, uh, um, you know, became a Muslim, you know, not overnight, but slowly, slowly, I realized that, yes, this is the truth, and this is the final message of uh, God, and um, yes, this is the <clears throat> the way out of all our problems on this planet. So I, after that, I have been trying to promote Islam. I even, I'm a film director, by the way, I even spent um, nearly, I don't know, eighty seventy thousand dollars $70,000 on a movie, a long movie, and right. one hour movie as uh, The Last Message of God. Uh, at that time, I was living in Dubai, 
now, of course, uh, I I was living in Sweden. I've been living in Sweden 37 years, and I moved to Dubai. So there, uh, I was working uh, in a film company, and I decided to make my movie, uh, The Last Message of God. So I uh, shot it in six different countries. And uh, yes, it is on the channel, of course, as well. It's one hour, nice movie. So uh, I always wanted to spread this beautiful message. Um, I have written a book as well about that as well. Uh, I'm going to post it soon on Amazon. Why Islam? Okay. Mm. Why? What make Islam different to other religion that uh, people should follow? It? Why it is the final message? Is it because it is? Uh, it has more praying, fasting, and rules, or it is something else? So <laughs> yes. So well, brother, when uh, when you did come back from uh, apostasy, or when you did accept the message of the Quran, did you accept it? Under the terms of a Sunni, or did you, did the Quran speak to you a different, um, different message? Yeah, um, in reality, I also they were accusing me for many times. They have accused me for being Quranis, Quran alone, and uh, mm. I have said to you as well that uh, I uh, believe in everything that uh, matches with Quran. You know, anything contradict Quran, like this uh, killing apostate, the stoning adulterers, all this trash. You know. So I reject them. But if, for example, I always quote this one, Prophet Muhammad said that uh, the pleasure you get in forgiveness, you don't get it in, you never get it in revenge. I see this uh, in line with the Quran and I see it beautiful. So I accept that, you know. So mm -hmm. I don't call myself Sunni or Shia, you know. I have, uh, you know, some differences with both of them, okay. And uh, yes, I believe that Bukhari was uh, a great liar. Uh, Muslim, all of them are a bunch of uh, businessmen, and uh, mm -hmm. they lied a lot. Okay, and they they just um, you know hated Islam actually because when you read uh, Bukhari, you hate Islam because this is disgusting. You know, uh, a pedophile mm -hmm. and you know an animal hater, uh, everything. You know that he writes it make uh, our prophet look uh, terrible. Understand? Well. So, Yes, actually, that that uh, that brings me to the point of uh, the videos that we were watching. Just that little small clip of Shamsi. So okay. they obviously take their instructions from Bukhari and these liars, right? Yes, so, yes, exactly. So he, you did mention to him something that's very easy for someone to understand. So if there is a law of apostasy, which the Quran doesn't talk about law of apostasy, but there is a law of blasphemy. Right, mm -hmm. so a bla law of blasphemy is someone is fighting the messenger or insulting God or insulting mm -hmm. the messenger. That's different. But if someone is an apostate, God is saying like whoever turns away from their religion and dies, right? Yeah. So there's nothing about killing them. Now, when you presented the information that you yourself you left the religion, but then if they applied those rules, which those rules should have been applied on you, yeah, you wouldn't exactly. have had the chance for repentance. Exactly, and uh, actually. I believe um, some people have a little bit difficulty with this. I believe that uh, in Islam, there shouldn't be a, a punishment, even capital punishment, because everybody has the right to repent. And that opportunity should be given to them their entire life. Okay, And it is up to Allah SWT to accept their repentance or not. But which Allah says in the Quran that two people their repentance is not accepted. Those who are in the bed dying, okay, and they repent then, their repentance is not acceptable. And those who uh, die up in kufr, okay, which, right. uh, yes, which uh, it's an act, okay, um, as well. So this is uh, two people whose repentance is not accepted. But, um, you know, anybody, I, I believe, has the right to think, and um, I believe in rehabilitation, okay? I believe that people, uh, do they are not born bad. They become bad. The society make them bad, okay? And uh, mm -hmm. our job is, um, Ali Radiola actually wrote to his governor of Egypt, Malik, that your duty is not to punishing people. Your duty is to fix the problem that leads people to, uh, to bad deeds. Uh, it is God's duty to judge people, not your duty. So cover people's right. mistakes as much as you can so that God covers your mistakes okay and sins yes. right well there, there are there are as you said in chapter at the end of chapter 25 God says that uh, the final few chapters God says that whoever 
associates with God or kills somebody that they don't have the right to kill or mm. who does zina or uh, adultery, yeah. that they their their punishment will get doubled in the um, they get doubled in the their punishment gets doubled on the day of judgment, except those who repent and do a good deed. So obviously mm. everybody has a, a chance of repentance, but at the same time there are laws and rules that are available in the Quran for people uh, for people who um, mm. for people who do want to enact such such laws. I understand that if you were in a position of power, you would rather go through the role of re rehab and you put the person in jail or try to teach them the better way. But mm -hmm. some, some people, they're, they're sealed. It's very difficult. But I do I do want to touch up a little bit more about on what Shemsi said. Mm -hmm. Shemsi yeah. said that the, the way that they apply apostasy is yes. that uh, is that if, if the ruler, if they give him a chance and if he repents and if he's saying it out loud, then he's dead. And then he went as far as proving it with the laws of censorship that they added for for COVID. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I would have asked them, I would have asked them if somebody who says that God's book is complete mm -hmm. and that they don't need anything other than God's book, which they would call a Quranist, is that person an apostate? And should he put should he be put to death? Because they'll say yes. And yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, 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 exactly. They'll, they'll say yes. So that's censorship. So it's it's like uh, if you're not on our side, we'll kill you. So I just mm -hmm. want to put something on the screen real quick for people yes. to see that I'm not making this up. So if you look at the Wikipedia uh, of like the term Quraniyun, Quranist in Arabic, uh, it's a little different than the one that they present in English. But I, I'm just going to go ahead and translate this yes. part right here, which uh, let it let me just let it load. Okay, so this is in regards to the criticism of uh, the Quran alone movement. And then they have a quote here from, uh, let me see, let me find it. Um, let me see how where it went in the English. There it is. Okay, so this is from Ibn Hazm al-Andalusi, right? Where he says, yeah. if a man said, we only take what we found in the Quran, he would have been an infidel according to the consensus of the nation. And we, he would only need, have needed one rakah between the setting of the sun until dusk and another at dawn, because that is the least that falls on the name of the prayer. And there's no limit to more in that. And saying this is an infidel, polytheist or a kafir is what the word is, who is halal for blood and money. So it would have been halal to kill such a person who says that the Quran is enough. And this mm -hmm. is the general understanding of these people. So when this man wants to talk about how uh, how um, yeah. how the law of apostasy is is applied, he was completely lying. Hey, I mean, this is so terrible that they just uh, you know, I have to read uh, something that they don't they don't follow Quran because Quran says in chapter sixty verse eight. Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of your religion and do not expel you from your from your uh, your homes, from being righteous towards them and act justly towards them. Indeed, Allah loves those who act justly. And then next verse, uh, sixty verse nine. Allah only, Allah only for, forbids you from those who fight you because of religion and expel you from your homes and aid in your expulsion. Okay, so uh, there are many verses. This is this is just one of those uh, many verses that Allah says that uh, accept no compulsion in religion. Okay, and then mm. and there was something, brother, um, Dr. Shabir was saying uh, about la ikraha fi din. Dr. Shabir said that uh, la ikraha when that ha comes, make it absolute, like la ilaha illallah, la ikraha right. fi din. So that's why I was telling them then. If you make it conditional that, oh, no, it is because, uh, only for those who uh, want to enter Islam, not those who are Muslim, okay, then uh, you have to make even la ilaha illallah conditional, okay? So that one is uh, either uh, absolute, that there is no God. So there might be some mm -hmm. gods, you know? And then I wanted to ask them, actually, because of you saw the, you know, the atmosphere, so two important question I forgot to ask them. Uh, one of them was about this, um, uh, because actually I have asked that uh, there is, uh, I had another debate with that Sheikh Muhammad, uh, which also is on different channels. Uh, once I could talk to him on uh, Ali Dawa's channel, and I asked him about uh, 
you know, chapter 4, verse 25. Allah says in chapter 4, verse 25, that uh, if your right hand possess wives, commit adultery, then give them half punishment of a free woman. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the question is that what is the half punish? Uh, what is the punishment of a free woman if it is, uh, you know, stoning? On Stone. that, uh, on his channel, actually, on Ali Davo's channel, he removed me right away and he lied. Okay. He started to lie that no, that's, uh, you know, in general. Okay. So Quran, in reality, Quran always refer as, uh, you know, for um, uh, what is it? Um, free woman. Sorry. Uh, in, in Arabic, it is. Um, uh, muhsanat, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, muhsanat is always referred to uh, uh, married women, okay. But it, this guy even lied about that, okay, on uh, on his channel. And I there because you know because of the they were on me, you know that guy, for example, he was coming and whispering on uh, everyone's ear that uh, you know he's I don't know kafir or whatever he was saying, you know. So I forgot to ask him this question. Another question is to them: if in North Korea somebody convert to islam and want to preach islam north korea definitely kill them okay so do right, you are, are you agree with that do you do you accept that they have the same argument no this is a threat to our society you know so the, right yeah yeah no like i 100 agree to, to them they don't understand that it's not a law of apostasy but rather it's a law of censorship Yes, they want to censor people because it's if it's a Shi'i, if it's a Quran alone, if it's a Quran centric, these are all worthy of death. They'll yeah. even take it as far as sometimes the Ash'aris and the other people that they have a problem with, or a Maturudi or whatever. If it's somebody that does not align with their personal sect, to them he's an apostate and he's he's worthy of death. But they don't, they never explain it that way. They just say like, no, no, it's the the person completely left the okay. religion. But I like the point that you're saying in regards to North Korea because they're going to do the same thing. Like, hey, we don't like this, so we're going to kill you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is, uh, I have noticed that this is something uh, human that uh, you disagree with me, I hate you, I want to kill you. It's everywhere in all religion, you know. Even the Quran says that uh, uh, Jews say that uh, no one goes to heaven except me, Christian says, and Allah says it is your wishful, uh, you know, thoughts. Thinking. Yes, thinking. So, uh, right. That's why, you know, Shias extremists say that Sunnis are kafir. Even these, uh, you know, Sh Sunni extremists say Shias are kafir. So they, they only they and their friends and you know those who think about uh, like them only they go to heaven, uh, unfortunately. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Well, this kind of like brings me to the next point that I wanted to talk about is you did uh, mention in your discussion with Shamsi, something that you mentioned with the other weird sheikh there in regards to the sheep, right? And then they all keep saying that this hadith is la'if, this hadith is la'if, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I want to first share the hadith for people to read it. And and I do understand what they mean by la'if, right? But, but sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, Brad, Brad Muhammad. It is written Hassan. And yeah, Hassan, that's what I was going to show. Yeah, right it here. is written Hassan. And they say it is la'if. And even la'if, I told them that even if it's the eve, it means that there is a possibility. If you accept it as the eve, then you give a possibility that it is authentic. Because if you well, do not accept that it is if this is the case, then you should say, no, it is absolutely fabricated. As I say, absolutely fabricated. You would say absolutely fabricated. This is trash. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, exactly. But what when they mean da'if, when they're saying weak, that they, it has some elements of truth to it. Yeah, so, exactly. Like so, if we're gonna if we're gonna read the uh, the hadith together, this is Sunan Ibn Majah, nineteen forty four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where they say narrated by Aisha. Okay, so it's not narrated by Muhammad. It's narrated by Aisha. Aisha. So this is, it's not. It's got nothing to do with Prophet Muhammad. Okay. The verse of stoning and of breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed. So there's they're telling you about two verses in the Quran that was mm -hmm. revealed. One about stoning and one about breastfeeding an adult. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame little sheep came and ate it. Mm -hmm. So a sheep ate the single piece of paper that had these two verses, and these verses somehow never made it to the Quran. Yeah, now yeah. they. For, for them, it's very easy for them. And I, we're going to play the video a little bit. But uh, they, they want to talk about the sheep, 
the sheep is weak the sheep is daif it doesn't make sense this is okay but there's two verses missing no 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 there isn't like you guys are literally writing that there's two verses missing and there's other verses that are showing that do you do you want to play the clip or do you want to touch a little bit more on this hadith yeah yeah uh, I, I would like to say uh, first of all i don't believe even that aisha said it okay they just made it up right and then, exactly. uh, yes, they just, uh, because if they say, we say it, then nobody would accept it. They have to say, mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad said it, or Aisha said it, somebody, you know. So another right. thing is that, um, yes, uh, another thing is that I was telling them that, okay, uh, because I was ta uh, debating uh, the EF Dawa as well, and they were, you know, accusing me for, they, uh, they, they were saying that, okay, if the sh sheep uh, ate the, the, the verses, but it, uh, he didn't eat the memory of the people. I was saying, yes, okay, then where is the verse, okay? And they were right. saying that I thought that the, the, you know, the people's memory was also eaten. And I was saying, you say, because uh, it is not uh, like the dog uh, ate my <laughs> homework. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, anyway, right. so, so I was telling them that where, where are the verses, okay? No, it is in the Hadith. And then another thing is that about this, uh, you know, hadith that it was it sent was sent down ten times as if as the first time came Prophet Muhammad forgot it, then they uh, Jibreel came down again and said, uh, "Excuse me, did you forget the words?" Okay, so here is it, it is again. Okay, and then he should come ten times, ten times. So important were these two verses that he should come ten times and say to Prophet Muhammad that. Hey, don't forget these verses. And finally, these verses were eaten by a goat, you know, and then forgotten. Right. And then today I have to come and say, where are the verses, you know? But but you see, it's very interesting, the two verses that are not in the God's book and that the one they claim the goat ate them. The yeah. verses are very, are very specific, mm -hmm. where one, you get to kill somebody's husband and then you can marry her. Right. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. Mm -hmm. Because he committed he committed zina, so kill him. Right. And then I can get his wife. And the other one is I like this girl, but I don't want to marry her, so I, I can go suck on her boobies ten times. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's or five times because they're not sure if it's five or ten. Mm -hmm. So it's two very specific law like law mm -hmm. rules that okay. it would be convenient for a criminal to use. Right. Exactly. But here here this is Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. Telling like they're saying stoning is a duty laid down in Allah's book. Exactly. For married like and who commit okay, but where? Where is in so Allah? is the book missing? <laughs> yeah, it is it laid down. It is a duty that I cannot see it. It's a duty laid down in Allah's book, but I cannot see it, you know. Somehow I have to blindly follow it, unfortunately. Right. Right. And that because if you don't accept this, then now you're worthy of being put to death. You're an apostate. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Right? Because so, you, you reject Quran, they say. Yeah, you're rejecting the verse in the Quran that's not in the Quran. <laughs> that's not in the Quran. <laughs> yeah. And then right, another well, thing that, sorry, bro, I should, uh, I forgot, uh, I have to tell you another thing is that uh, uh, they refer usually, they say, oh, oh, it is in the Bible and the Torah. Okay. And then I say, excuse me, those two books are, according to you, are corrupted. So, how can you come mm. up with? Uh, you know, fact from a corrupted book, okay? And I have said mm -hmm. this also to my fellow Christians, okay, that you see, this is why it was corrupted because these verses are in those books and these people, because, uh, you know, uh, Quran was protected and the same people who entered these barbaric acts in those books, they wanted to enter it in Allah's book, but was protected. And they couldn't. That's why they came up with these fabricated hadiths, you know, to keep these. Unfortunately, somehow they managed, but we are fighting them. Somehow right. they managed to keep these, uh, you know, verses. I mean, these right. uh, acts. Yes. Uh, there is something that you said that was interesting. I want to see if I can find it really quick. But um, uh, all right. So I'm going to share a tab for you to read something about the Jews, okay? So it's right here. Mm -hmm. So based on Rema's ruling, some halakhic authorities rule that Jews to this day may not wear any red, even for accessories, right? So this is a, a, a Jewish law, right? Mm -hmm. But if you put like hadith forbidden to wear red, you will also find that it's not permissible to wear plain red because the prophet forbid doing so. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously this is obviously something that it's like influenced by Jewish lore because mm -hmm. God in the Quran clearly states to us that you can't 
Like who is going to forbid what God has made legal for people from adornments and clothing and, and, and uh, jewelry and things of that nature? So here you could see that the Jewish scriptures, what they're writing is seeping through with it. And they're the ones who kill the homosexual. They're the ones who kill apostates. They're the ones who, who stone adulterers. Mm. So the hadith is just another Jewish religion at this point. Yeah. And they're acting like Jews. If you see how Shamsi talks to you and the other sheikhs, there's very arrogant, like what people claim the Pharisees were. So they became like the Jews. Yeah, actually, no I, offense believe, to any Jews. <laughs> yes, I believe that even these are definitely not uh, the, you know, the law. Uh, Moses, peace be upon him, these are... The law of uh, Romans, you know, they used to stone people. And in Quran, it has been mentioned many times, the stoning. And it's always always referred to Moshakun, uh, 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 Prophet uh, Ibrahim's uh, father, peace be upon him, says right. to, to him that if you don't listen to us, we stone you. And many other verses, Quran say, if you, to right. his prophets, if you do this, they will stone you. So stoning was their action, their acts, <clears throat> you know, these barbarians acts and they wanted to keep it and unfortunately fortunately they couldn't enter it in the quran so they came up with these uh, alhamdulillah. yes alhamdulillah they couldn't right okay well let's let's uh watch what uh this where i had a talk with this sheikh and, I, and yeah. this sheikh i kind of embarrassed him because he was talking to me in a way and i just made him remember who really here he is so I, i'll put it on the screen and we'll just watch a little bit and we're not going to watch the whole 30 minutes but yeah, just the first little beginning long. i just He's very yeah, because he very long, yes. Because, but I, I want people to notice his style of talking, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. he's talking like, like he's he like this is beyond him, right? Mm -hmm. And everything that he's saying is true. And remember, guys, it's very clear in their hadith the way that they presented that the scholars, right? And this, these people are more involved in hadith than this the person where we're gonna watch, and they say that it's Hassan, okay. So mm -hmm. I can't sit here and I say this verse of the Quran is weak and this Quran is strong. It's all sahih. It's all authentic. But why do they get to decide what is good and what isn't? So without further ado, here's this weirdo. Yes, last time I talked to you uh, on Aligaba. Actually, I just want to go a little bit further because mm -hmm. uh, Muji said, Salamu Alaikum. Just listen to what he said. Yes. Yes, I see now. Yes, last time I talked to you uh, on Aligaba, I asked you about the hadith, about the goat, which in two verses of Quran, you said that hadith is weak, and I have the video. Okay? So, despite in Sunnah.com, it's written that it is Hassan. Okay? And I have come all the way from Sunday to ask you this question because you removed me on that channel. Okay? My question is that there are those two verses. When Quran says that it is protected. Okay. First of all, you know what the meaning of Hassan? Yes. The meaning of Hassan. No. Okay. No. So what is it? What does it mean? Okay. Basically, when we say Hadith Hassan, okay. yeah, meaning it didn't have the standard to be Sahih, it didn't have the standard to be authentic. Okay. So it is fabricated. No. Okay. Do you want to put word in my mouth? No, no. What is it? Is it hard? Do you want an answer or, yes. or you okay. came to tell me the answer? No. Okay. Tell me. So then be quiet and listen. So when we say Hadith Hassan, it didn't have the standard of authentic Hadith. Meaning that we have, firstly, if the Hadith is Sahih, meaning the chain of narrators all the way there intact, a person a person who's trustworthy, who have a knowledge, narrated from a person who's trustworthy, who have a knowledge about the Hadith, all the way to the Prophet This is that which we call the Hadith Sahih. Now, the hadith Hassan, this is here, this is a matter of jurisprudence between the scholars of hadith, meaning it didn't have the standard because there is one narrator has issues, either an issue of forgetting someone who forget hadith, he might be as a person to be a trustworthy, and then when he narrate, he didn't narrate that I heard, he narrate by an means someone said, yeah, and since because there is a factor of being forget, forgetting or something. Then some scholars, they said, it is strengthening with other some narrations, meaning they will try to find some other narrations, which has similar meaning. And then they will say it is Hassan, meaning it reached that standard of Hassan, but it's not authentic. Now, meaning there are still some scholars of Islam, believe is, 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 is weak. Yeah. So I believe 
that hadith is da'if, yeah? And the one who did the ijtihad, meaning they have did the work, and then they said, this hadith, it, you know, it's authentic, based on such and such evidences, which means they have to build up their argument to say it's, it's authentic. But actually, if they go back to the root of that, they will find out that we have weakness in the narration. Yeah, that's one thing. The other thing, uh, we have weakness in the narration. Plus, as well, there is some narrator, he has issues in terms of forgetting, etc. So that's why, if I took the position of saying the hadith is da'if, I have no problem to say this. So that's why when you say to me, sunnah.com, they say hasan. Sunnah.com, they will they transmit whatever is available. So they will say a hadith, they will narrate a hadith, and then they will use some scholars like Sheikh Al-Bani and some, some other who say this hadith is, is, is authentic. And for example, the same hadith, which is one of the scholars of our time, which is Sheikh Zubair Ali Zayn, he died not long time ago. He didn't believe in the standard of Hassan. He didn't believe a hadith which is weak to be strengthening with a hadith which is another weak to strengthen each other. He believes that both of them are weak, they are both weak. So they don't take it. So that's a, a stand of scholars, which is acceptable between the scholars of Islam. So, okay, so here the man just waffled for a good three minutes, four minutes. He's teaching the people in regards to the authentication that some people say with hadith Darus Salam, they are not smart so they didn't understand it they put it Hassan but it's supposed to be a weak narration and he's telling you two weak narrations but all of this talking he didn't address he didn't actually address the problem the problem is right here one we put it earlier that in Sahih Muslim so there's no Da'if there's no no Hassan none of this BS that he wants to talk about it clearly states that stoning is a duty laid down in Allah's book for married men and women who commit adultery when proof is established. That's one verse that we don't find in the book. And then we also have another one from also Sahih Muslim, right? That where Aisha reported that it had been revealed in the Holy Quran that clear, 10 clear sucklings make the marriage unlawful. Then it was abrogated by five suckling and Allah's apostle died and it was before that time found in the Holy Quran and recited by the Muslims. This is also not a verse that's found in the Quran. So, Brother Moody, it seems like he's avoiding the question. <laughs> what course. was the question? Yeah, and then he was trying, you know, and I, finally even I told him, please, uh, you know, make your answer short because, and I asked him, even if you say it is naive, again, there is a possibility. You don't uh, rule out the possibilities, you know, totally. You say it is mm -hmm. naive. It's actually, uh, you know, <laughs> I remember... Um, the, the movie uh, Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> there was, <laughs> yes, this um, Jim Carrey uh, asked that uh, woman in the movie, is there a chance that me and you get together? And the, uh, the girl said that, uh, yeah, the chance is one in a million. And he became so happy, he said, you know, then there is a chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one in a million. But anyway, yes, one in a million. There is a chance. So you guys, you say it is the if that there is a chance. You have to say how many percent. You know, if from hundred percent, you even you say one percent, then it means that there is a possibility that these, uh, you know, these two verses were eaten by a goat, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala couldn't protect His book from a goat. You know, so right. this is you know crazy actually. Right. Well. Even even if we put the if we even if we put the goat to the side, however the verses got lost, mm -hmm. there's two verses lost. Yeah. Why aren't they talking about these two verses that are not in the Quran and they accept it? But but I do want to also highlight another part and I'll let you like touch up a little bit Can upon it. Yeah. Can I say something before? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, they come up now with another theory. Look, and I was asking this sheikh also. You know, he said that no. Uh, there are three types of abrogation. One which um, has been abrogated totally and the recitation and the implication has been gone right. totally. Another one is right. that, uh, yes, the ab abrogation that the, the recitation is there, but the, uh, you know, the ruling is not there. The third one is that the recitation is abrogated, but the ruling is there. <laughs> Despite you don't see it, yeah, but the ruling right. is there, yes. And then, uh, yeah, I, I told him that you know what, this uh, abrogation that you say didn't exist a thousand years ago. Otherwise, they would say that verses of stoning and suckling an adult came down, but it was abrogated in recitation. They came right. with this, yes, they came with this because they didn't, they were not smart enough like you to come up with this, you know, this uh, 
uh, another class of uh, abrogation. And I asked him, how many verses have been abrogated? Here? So far, we know one verse, he said. Yeah. So for one verse, for one verse, they have created an abrogation, you know, set. That it right, is, right. Oh, yeah, a class yeah. just for it. But yeah, just let me uh, an, <laughs> let, let me answer Zach here real quick. Uh, Zach says, Muhammad, the goat hadith is not authentic, and even if the those verses were memorized, so what's the difference would it make? The the point is not about the goat. The goat is a funny story that they're saying that yeah. it's it's Hassan, right? But the fact is, the verse is saying that there's two verses that are supposed to be in the Quran, right? Yeah. But we don't find these two verses, and they still use these verses for for. Uh, for judgment, at least the stoning, and some people take the sucklings as well, the five sucklings. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's two, which we showed earlier, there's two actual sahih, authentic hadith, talking about these two missing verses. So when we're asking them about the verses, and we say like, hey, you guys say that a goat ate them, uh, obviously the goat eating part is a funny point, because they talk about oral tradition and memorization and all of this. Yeah, yeah. But like, for them to even accept it and put it to the level of Hassan, and there's a chance of something happening. Exactly. Where are the verses? You know, I'm, I'm looking for the verses. I would like to see them. And I cannot, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot put me, uh, you know, uh, question me uh, in Qiyama and say that you're supposed to follow something that you don't see in the book of Allah. Okay. Right. If it was exactly. just, sorry, if they just said that it is a hadith, that would be something else maybe. Okay. But they say there were two verses and it was so important that it came down 10 times. Okay. Not once. Ten times mm -hmm. it came down, as if as Prophet Muhammad, uh, you know, was forgetting. For those uh, like, um, you know, this brother Zak Zak, yeah. For those who would yep. like, yes, if you really want to, uh, you know, discuss with me every Saturdays, I go live, okay, uh, at the same time, six p.m. UK time every mm -hmm. Saturdays, and I challenge them to call in and talk to me. Everybody are welcome, okay, to call in and right. uh, you know. And uh, I'm, unfortunately, I have to say something that the uh, these extremists also have uh, impersonate my channel. There is a false perfect dawah as well. So you have to be careful that false perfect dawah that they, I even uh, wrote to YouTube, they didn't take it down. It is just they have made a channel by the name of perfect dawah. They have put just some videos there so that people don't come to my channel and they don't listen to me. All right. But uh, oh, I, I did yes. link the channel and it's pinned yes, to the course, comment yes. section. So if anyone wants to join his channel and, uh, and subscribe, well, go go ahead. He, uh, yeah. me and uh, again, me and Muzi were featured sometimes on modern day debate yes. going on against Christians and atheists. And yes. we, I've been waiting for a Sunni to challenge me, but they don't well, not challenge me, but accept the challenge. But they just I, 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 run I, away. I, yeah, I, I I even ask asked um, uh, several times on uh, modern day debate to debate this uh, Daniel Isis Jew. I call him Daniel Isis Jew. Isis. Okay. Yeah, you know why? Because his surname, yeah. Brother Muhammad, his surname is uh, Hagiga Jew. You know what? Hagiga Jew means, uh, in, it's his Persian surname. It means uh, seek, seeking the truth. And he doesn't seek right. the truth, definitely. Okay? Right. So that's why I cannot yeah. call him Hagiga Jew. I call him Isis Jew because he's, you, he's you can, a you, supporter of Isis. Yeah. You could also try with a Batal Jew. Because <laughs> he's on the Batal, he's yeah, not on yeah. the Hatta. I know exactly. Yeah, but right. yeah, okay, yes, right. I, of course. So, yeah. I, I do want to go back to the video really quick so yes, I could yes. just show the, the end when he's now he's turning into this little strong man and somebody wants to come. The guy with the cigarette wants to come yeah, yeah. defend his sheikh. I, yeah. I like that part, so I wanted to just show the people yeah, that guy what, that guy was going to hit me <laughs> somehow. Yeah, I know because he's a weirdo. Yes, no, you Did said, I say? You, you said the government will kill you. Brother, 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 he, you don't know, you don't know what he wanted to say. He wanted to say the hadith. The Prophet وسلم, he said, Man meaning, so if someone living in a Muslim country and there is something called social contract, social contract, uh, means khiana, betrayal, khiana, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so is Khiana. When you are, a, when you, this is the treason. Okay, treason. That's a punishment of the treason. Okay. So, so the punishment right, of okay. the treason. Okay. So, listen, listen now. Uh, we, we done here. Okay. Can you please, can you please? I'm saying to you, right. generally, can you please stay away from me? Prophet Muhammad, in the battle of Bar, when his soldiers arrested the enemy who were killing Muslims, he demanded with them when they. Uh, tie their hands, open their hands, treat them well, okay, and each prisoner 
تشكل له سي بي بي اوكي 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 انمي رافت محمد سو ميكسيكو اند يو سي اف سام بادي تشينج از ريجن از تريزن اند يو هاف تو كيل هيم بادوي 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 هي كولد اس هي اوبوز اسلام اند ذن توداي هي بيكام ا مسلم واي ذير از ا ريزن So he's using Christian to 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 film him. Which why why is that? Because he wanted to attack Islam. Look how filthy scumbag are you? You are using people to attack Islam. What's the purpose? What's, what's your purpose? What's yes, sorry, sorry. I, yes, no. okay. I am not ISIS. What's that? Yeah, I have to say that I always attack your you know ISIS Taliban Islam. Yes, I have said it always. I've been fighting it for four years. Okay. Uh, and I, uh, we, we, I, I am a part of an organization that we are fighting Iranian ISIS regime. So I'm not, uh, you know, afraid, afraid of saying that, yes, I'm attacking your religion. Okay, that's not Islam. Absolutely, right, exactly. that's ISIS and Taliban, uh, Boko Haram, uh, Al-Qaeda. This is not Islam. This is fascism. And we, we want to save our religion from these extremists, you know, who... And I said to this EF Dawa as well, every single... Brother Muhammad, every single Islamophobe on this planet, they say, this is uh, what, what I say, say, they say, this is not Islam. Islam is what ISIS and Taliban, they say. I have been debating uh, opposite pro prophet four times, Brother Muhammad. First time I debated him, he started to say, uh, you know, it is a nicer version of Islam. I hope, uh, I wish you good luck and so on. And because he's a businessman in reality, he realized that if he accepts that there is a nice version of Islam, yes, yeah, then he will, uh, then he will lose perhaps his followers. So next time I debated him on, uh, you know, uh, this uh, MDD, he started to become offensive. And the last time I debated him, he started to use F words against me. And he said, I would never again debate you <laughs> because I said, you and ISIS and Taliban, you say this, that Islam say this, but it is not true. And he became very angry because I said, exactly what you say, ISIS says as well. You both believe in the same Islam. It is the difference is that you just reject it. They accept it, you know. Well, this is this is the problem with what we call shirk association idolatry. So when yeah. the man was presented with what the actual view of what they're saying, because to them it's like, oh, the prophet, like pretty much, uh, uh, the the prophet like tied the people's hands and then he he berated them and he some of them he tortured and the killings. Well, when you present that information to them, it's like, wow, my prophet is strong and my prophet was was a good warrior and a good no, my my prophet is merciful and he was yeah. not of what you describe. So to yeah. them, it's like, oh, you're attacking my prophet. No, I'm attacking the image and the lies that you're saying about the prophet. Like when you're going to think that it's such an honor to marry a six-year-old and the prophet was allowed to yeah. do what he wants. These are against the Quran and you're, you're making the prophet look terrible. Exactly. And then uh, about this treason, you know, we have the mm -hmm. clear instruction in Quran that feed them, you know, and even say, we don't need your tanks. Even the, the enemies who have right. been attacking you, killing your brother, let, let's say yesterday, and you have captured them, and let's say feed them and tell them, we don't need your tanks, okay? We just feed you because of Allah, you know, Allah told us to feed you. So we have to be even mercy, uh, um, you know, merciful towards enemies who have been fighting us. And then you say, oh, you are a treason. And then they say, uh, you know what? In USA, they, they uh, what is it? They kill the prisoners. USA doesn't follow uh, Quran. USA they don't follow Allah's commands. We follow. Allah says in the Quran to be merciful, forgiving. Okay, so many. Right. Mm. Yeah. But but brother, there there is a subjective take. So I, I understand with you, you'd rather focus on the rehab and make sure like we try to get to peace. And there is a verse where God says that even with the person that you have a lot of animosity with. To talk to him like he's your best friend, like Waliyun well, Hamim, right? And only the people with a lot of patience can uh, achieve that level, right? Yes, yes. But the people who are attacking, the people who are actually physically going, I don't think there is uh, uh, any issues to to obviously fight. And if they no, if no, they're no, put no, to no. death, Definitely. they're put to death. No. But but I do agree with you. As soon as they they're captured exactly. and they're no, what I'm saying and, is that and they're I prisoners of war. Yeah. Like there's a there's a yeah. rules in the Quran yeah, that you have exactly. to apply. What I'm what I said that brother Muhammad last night, 
uh, somebody on my live stream, uh, a Christian said, turn your uh, other cheek. I said, go and say that to Ukrainian to turn their other cheek, you know, uh, right. uh, when Russia has attacked them. Go and say to those uh, uh, Adolf Hitler attack them and occupy them, turn, tell them, turn your other cheek, you know. No, there is a, you know, situation that you have to defend yourself. Yes, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he even left Mecca. He didn't want to fight. But at the end, when there was no any other way, so he fought. He fought, but there, there are rules in Islam, how you fight, you know, you don't kill innocent people, no women, no children, you know, animals and so on. So there are rules in uh, Islam that even when you capture them, then you have to be mercy, you have to be, you know, because these people, right. the, these people don't understand, they, you know, they might regret and so on. So Allah says, keep them with you and, uh, you know, talk to them because they don't understand. They might hear you and they might become a Muslim. Yes. Exactly. So as God says in the Quran, like the, the people who, like, let them hear the word of God and if and let them go. Because if they want to betray you, well, mm -hmm. God already gave you advantage of them in the first place. Yes. It's very easy for God to allow you to capture them again. So yes. there are there are so many verses to show that our religion is about mercy. The default position is mercy, rafa, yes. to yes. show yes. Uh, like you know, like to, to mm -hmm. find the common ground for us to actually start building and finding bridges and, and 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 ways for us to improve in the world. But these individuals, as you see, he's he's very uh he's very abrasive as if you're attacking the religion of God. Because mm -hmm. their religion to their mind is not is not something that's allowed to be discussed. If you discuss mm -hmm. it in a way that it's critical, you're 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 supposed to be put to death. If exactly. you question what they wrote down, other uh, of course of course not the Quran. If you're questioning the Hadith and what they're saying, you're 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 an enemy to the religion. Well, this is not how a society works, and you can see it reflective in places like Iran, places like mm -hmm. Syria, places like Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt. Mm -hmm. That kind of mentality, it's killing the society because mm -hmm. there's no room for you to discuss the truth in a positive manner because yes. the truth needs to be discussed. Another thing not is that, forced. Brother, yeah, brother Muhammad, another thing is that I was telling them, you, with this law, you create a monafiqun. And I was living in, in Dubai, brother Muhammad, many people were going to, you know, Juma, they were praying, fasting, and then they were against Islam, brother Muhammad. And I was telling them, why you are fasting? Oh, because, you know, the society and family, excuse me, this is, uh, we don't need, a lot of subhanahu doesn't need monafiru, that you force them, you make them afraid if they, you know, they show their uh, their real, uh, it's better that they, they, sh they say that they are not Muslim, so that if they make uh, some mistake, if they do bad deeds, then people don't say, oh, look at Muslims, okay? So don't, mm. I mean, this law create monafiru because they are afraid to say that uh, they are not Muslim anymore. Understand? Right, exactly. And and then those are the people who and uh there was a man uh I had to like I had a long discussion with and he was a very uh vile person. He used to insult the prophet and he used to but to him he was actually the imam of a mosque in his city. He was an imam for 10 years and he apostated. He starts to say disgusting stuff about God and discussing stuff about the prophet online, but yet he's leading the prayer. Why? Because he knows that if he stops going or he says that he's not a Muslim anymore, they're going to put him to death. Exactly. So he says that in the middle of the prayer, like as the people praying behind him, he's sitting insulting God and he's insulting things and saying stupid things and the people behind him are are, are, are standing in prayer with him. Yes. But for me, no, it makes more sense for this guy to say, you guys, you know what? You guys do you. I don't want nothing to do with this. I think this is a waste of time and I'm going to go do my thing. Go ahead. That yes. way it's easier. That's mm -hmm. how God wants it in the Quran because yeah. you're not going to affect the religion. Like mm -hmm. these people, are you going to attack the Islam? You're attacking our religion, so we need to eliminate you because if we don't eliminate you, our religion is going to be uh, our religion is going to be affected. Exactly. Uh, I can read uh, these verses, of course, for uh, for those. Uh, tell me what's the verse. I'll, I'll pull it up. I I, I have it here, chapter eighty-eight, yep. verse twenty-one to twenty-six. <clears throat> Uh, remind, O oh Muhammad, you are only a reminder. You are not over them a controller. Whoever turns away and continues to do kuf, then Allah will punish him with the greatest punishment. Indeed, to us is their return. Look, indeed, to us is their return. Indeed, upon us is their account. So it is not upon Prophet Muhammad their account. It is upon Allah. Chapter 10, verse 99. And 
had your Lord willed those on earth would have believed all of them entirely, then Muhammad, would you compel the people in order that they become believers? So he says to Prophet Muhammad, you just deliver, you know, the message and you don't need to, uh, you know, grieve or because if mm -hmm. we wanted to make the Muslim, we would do that. We wouldn't send you chapter 10, uh, 110, uh, 9, sorry, 109 verse 6. For you is your religion and for me is my religion. There are many, many verses uh, in the Quran that I, I can read that it, his duty was only to deliver uh, the message, nothing else. And when the prophet's duty was just to deliver the message, okay, then who are you, Mr. Sheikh, uh, that you'd say <clears throat> if somebody, you know, leave Islam, then uh, we'll kill him. And then another thing is that, Another thing is that I was asking him, he's such a, you know, uh, he's so ashamed of his belief. If you go a little bit back, you see that I was asking him, would you kill me? He was, you know, denying. He was just, oh, no, I, I don't kill somebody else. Kill, because he's afraid. He's ashamed to say that, yes, I would kill you, you know. Like even mm -hmm. Daniel and that Jake in that um, interview, uh, sorry, debate they had on that channel. I forgot the, the name of that channel with that, those two Christians, uh, they also were right. very ashamed to admit that they would kill, you know, if they they, mm. they well, got the order, it. yes, they got the order, they would kill, uh, you know, apostate. So these people right. are even ashamed of their, their beliefs. Yes. Well, I, I do want to jump into the other video. It's, uh, it's 11 minutes. I'll, I'm going to play a little bit and then we're going to pause and have yeah. you discuss more. So what was going yeah. on? Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit more intense, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, let me let me just jump into it right now. And this is with uh, the EF Dawa guys. I, yeah, I've been EF on their Dawa. channel a few times. Mm -hmm. They 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 don't have much to debate with. Like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. huh. So the the thing that I realized is that um, these people don't even know who the children of Israel is. Yeah, so, yeah. for example, I was talking to him, and he one of them said to me that uh, Moses was a Jew. What are mm -hmm. you talking about? <laughs> but anyways, without without further ado, here's the uh, discussion. So. Mm -hmm. Now let me clarify the point because we don't sugarcoat our religion. There you you do. tell me what is worse, allowing somebody to be public in the apostasy and encourage other people to Jahannam, yeah. is this worse yeah. or is killing him worse? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Potentially turning thousands of people, potentially, to eternal Jahannam, yeah. is this worse than his life? Yeah. Okay, so now you are told you want to apostate, you don't have to follow Islam, nobody forcing you, even in Iran. Okay. Were people checking whether you were praying your salah? In Iran, the government no. doesn't have control. Were there people now well, in Saudi? Question. Forget okay. Iran. I have I haven't finished. I haven't of people finished in the Middle East. In Saudi. They don't like Islam, but in they Qatar. Does fast. the government come and, and check whether you're praying you salah? Guys, 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 this, this, no, 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 this nonsense that you're propagating, yes. a caricature of what it is to be Muslim okay. and follow Islam okay. by a asking these type of questions, as a, if you claim to be a Muslim. Okay, I'm a Muslim. If yes. you claim, I'm not, I don't know whether you are okay. or not. You say you are. I have a channel. You I'm listen to me. You say, you say, you, you say, you say listen, to me. listen to me. You say you're Muslim. <laughs> I'm not going to say you're not Muslim. But I'm saying if you claim. Imagine if ChatGPT and Canva had a baby. That's at Creative AI. It's Can you guys imagine? AI just... Get away. <laughs> Why do you ask these type of questions that the Islamophobe is ah. asking in order to misguide the people mm. and confuse them about what the, the law of apostasy all is. All right, now you ask me a question. Because, Why? Because all Islamophobes on this planet Every single of them say Islam is what you say. When no. I say Islam is this, no. they say no, this is not Islam. Here we have no one of brothers what, here is, is there no, 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 and no, no, he knows second, every one of them say one I have been debating no, 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 one four times. Four times. He said no, this is not Islam. I have been debating hour. different. I, who are you? you see, guys, just just this part, I want to pause up because it's just a lot of yelling. Yeah. He went on for a monologue for a good five minutes, just 
three minutes, two minutes, three minutes talking about apostasy and like uh, it's better to kill him so that a thousand doesn't get affected. But then the prophet should have killed all the mushriks as fast as he can so that the mm -hmm. others don't get affected. Mm -hmm. All of these concepts that they were saying, like they were making it as if blasphemy law is the same as apostasy law. And and the, the way that they're approaching the matter is very wrong. But so notice how they don't let Muji speak. Yes, exactly. I wanted to say that why I was talking loud because they were not allowing me to speak at all. You know, on their channel, they yeah. block me. And here, after even I have come there, they too, they are too, and they don't let me to talk, let me talk. And then I've said, yes, every time I debate uh, Islamophobes like David Root, Apostate Prophet, they say, no, Islam is what they say, you know. Right. And these people say, oh, is, uh, Islamophobe use what I say. No, Islamophobe use your hadith. Islamophobe use uh, every trash you put on our prophet, you know. And then, uh, yes, th that's why they always say Islam is what these people, EF Tawa, uh, ISIS, Taliban, Boko Haram, they are Muslim. Yes. Well, that's Muslim. the issue. That's the issue is that, like, even when I go, for example, last time when me and Baba Shuaiba, we went on modern day debate and we debated uh, 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 Avery there and uh, David Wood. They um, they like they kept trying to pull us back into hadith books to disprove the prophet. But yeah. I have to I had to keep saying to them, if you want to debate Sunni, they'll bring you Sunnis. We're mm -hmm. not Sunnis. Like stop talking to us like Sunnis because these people, these people on the screen, they give you an image of religion and saying that this is the religion and this mm -hmm. is what Islam is, and it's yeah. not open for discussion. And the guy, the guy with beer behind, he said right away that I'm a kafir. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right away he said, oh, he's a kafir. <laughs> and then even that Abbas said, no, no, brother, calm down. <laughs> because, yeah. because you see, these people in the crowd, uh, they, they're all a group thing, crowd mm -hmm. thing. Yes, so yes, even, exactly. if, even if, even if, even uh, if, if Abbas goes, oh, he should be killed, everyone will be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And if, mm -hmm. if he goes, oh, don't, no, like we shouldn't say that. Everyone will go, yeah, 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 yeah. It's whatever the, like, the mouthpiece is saying mm -hmm. they all have to agree with, which is a cult. There is no thinking. There is no morality. Exactly. There is no reasoning. It's just these people just have to sit there and attack. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if there is, uh, if you want to play more, Brother Muhammad. Yep, I will. I, I was about to. Just yes. a second. Doesn't agree with me. All of them. Relax. Entirely. Relax. They all say. Can that. you relax for a second? Okay. Yes. The Islamophobe doesn't agree with me. Mm. All of the them. The Islamophobe agrees with his yeah. conception of yeah. the caricature of what he's made yeah. Islam to be. Mm -hmm. yes. So he is more in line with the Islamophobe. With the Islamophobe. No, I because say, what I the Islam. Say, hold on a second. I, I don't say that. I haven't I finished, don't finished, say my, that. I haven't finished my point. I don't say that. I haven't finished my point. Calm down. Because the Islamophobe does exactly what he just did. Yeah. Which is forget the nuance. No. Uh, now I get the you. detail. I tell you, black and white, says, black and white. Islamophobe says, is the apostate killed? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, or no? no. yes or no? Yes no. or no? Yes or no? This is no. No, is an apostate mm. put to death? No. Is no. a blasphemer put to death? That's a different thing. There's three ways to deal with them. You can exile them, you could uh, you could hurt them, and some of them are put to death. That's for a blasphemer. Someone who's going out publicly insulting what's holy. That's different. It's someone who's fighting the messenger. It's different. But an apostate is not put to death. I understand, Brother Muji, you probably have a different view in regards to the laws of blasphemy. But yeah. these people keep comparing mm -hmm. apostasies to blasphemy. They're being blasphemers. Mm -hmm. No, there's a there's a there's a clear difference in the Quran. Yes. But anyway, uh, they were saying that I say. The Islamophobe says what I say. No, I'm saying what Islamophobe says and what you say, you guys say. I don't say uh, apostate should get killed. I don't say uh, Prophet Muhammad married a six-year-old child. I don't say, uh, I don't know, uh, stone adulterers to death, okay? You say, right. people like you say. I don't say, I don't right. know, many, many other things. Uh, Prophet Muhammad said, go and kill all dogs. And then 
we killed a, a dog uh, was coming with an old woman from the village. Then he said, okay, no, no, don't kill all dogs. <laughs> kill just the black one because they are a, a devil. Since when dogs are devil because of their color. Understand? But but I like I, I like the way that he was saying about the character of Islam and then he goes, hey, hey, uh, if someone apostates, do you kill him? And he's asking his friends. Did Muhammad marry a six-year-old? And he's asking his friends. Yeah. Let's go ask the Quran. Yeah, let's yeah. let's ask God because God mm -hmm. says to refer back to his books if there's a disagreement. Exactly. You're saying something, Muji. These guys are saying something. This is a clear disagreement. Mm -hmm. You refer it back to God. They're saying, no, no, no. Let's not refer it back to God. We refer it to hadith because that's referring to the messenger. Okay, yes. but it says refer it back to God as well, right? But mm -hmm. they never take the book of God as a is a decisive judge. And obviously, we just need the book of God to judge. We don't need their books to judge. But mm -hmm. this is where these people are so like trapped in their mind, you know. I mm -hmm. talk to them in a way which try to get to them, but there's just there there isn't really. Subhanallah. Yeah, exactly. This is why you would kill me. Yes. This is why. That's the last calm question. Down. The last question. Calm down. Finish. That's the last no question. Calm no more questions. Calm down. Ah, you don't, you don't want to I've already had my ID profile. You don't want to answer. I don't want to take time. It's too much. You don't want to answer. Too much. If the government asks you to kill me, why you kill me? Calm down. If the government asks you to kill me, why you kill me? Calm down. If the government asks you to kill me, why you kill me? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You've moved. You've moved the goalpost even more. Okay. So you would now admit. Okay. You now admit okay. that he is not going to kill you. I'm not going to. You admit this. No. Now you've changed it. One second. Now okay. you've changed the question. Not a change. Today. You've changed the question. Okay. If the government tells you to do X, will you do X? Yes. Because one, he, one, because sec one not, second. Yes. One okay. second. One Why second. I'm asking? I'm this? telling you now. Okay. One second. One second. Yeah. If the government tells you to do pay your taxes in Sweden, okay. Will you pay them? Yes. Okay. Finish. Because it's no problem. Thank, thank you very but, much. One second. One second. But you see, this is okay. So uh, he accepted. Wait, sorry, brother, mama. He accepted. You see, he accepted that he will do that because if the government asked me to pay my tax mm -hmm. taxes, I would say yes, definitely. Yeah. So he would also accept if the government asked him to kill me, he would accept he would kill me. <laughs> so he accepted in this way. Exactly. Yeah. But then this is the, the very simple question is, yeah. so is your government your Lord? Like, mm -hmm. do, do you not have a sense of morality? Do you have not a sense of, of, of understanding God's... If the government is telling me to go marry a man, would I do it? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, the government is telling me to kill somebody. God told me not to kill somebody un unless if there's a uh, due cause. Yeah. Hey, so what, what's the due cause here? But they don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They don't get it. They just don't get it. They, they, it's very It's hard to hear them talk. Because they don't let you, and then they talk to you in a condescending manner. Calm down, calm yeah. down. So you have like good cop and bad cop. <laughs> the other guy is yelling. Yeah, yeah. The other guy is going to you. Calm down, calm down. Like, mm. did you ever? This is gonna, if they ever watch this, this is going to upset them. What? I just want to post like these two people up. Um, what was it called? Um, I have to say something while you are thinking, Brother Muhammad, mm -hmm. that when they yeah. talk to uh, non-Muslims, they are so calm, they are so, you know, good. Yeah. <laughs> Before us, there was, yeah, a, yeah, there was a Christian, I think, they were talking very calm. and so. But when it comes to somebody who can, you know, expose them, they become like this aggressive, imperfect dawah, you know, insulting and so on, unfortunately. Right, right. And, and I see this constantly. Like, they, they have no problem talking with everybody else except us. They, yeah, exactly. they, that's when their true color comes. Yes, yes. They they talk to <clears throat> you know non-Muslim even one hour on their channel, one hour. But when we want to talk, they just remove us right away. Mm -hmm. And that once I um, could I could call this uh, Muslim Latin, I survived five seconds. Can you imagine, brother? Mm -hmm. Five seconds. I even didn't finish my question. He removed me and he said, "Oh, he's a Quranist." <laughs> <laughs> you removed me, you know. Well, this is this is this is uh this is what I find very funny about them. It's it it makes us look better when they do that, mm -hmm. and the reason why I say it makes them look better it makes us look better because they have no problem being nice to everybody else. 
yeah, but yeah. they know we bring a very good challenge. Yes. So yes. now they get agitated. They get mad. They act like the Christians. Like when the Christians are being put in a corner, they mm -hmm. start to start to insult and go up. But these two people in this condition right now, they remind me of these guys. If you ever seen these people, like <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. yeah. So it's like one of them is Abbas, and the other one is the doctor. I can't remember what his name is. <laughs> doctor. But uh, like Imran, I think. Imran, yeah. So one of them is yelling, and then the other one is like, "Hey, no, calm down. This is not <laughs> like." <laughs> and and it's just it's just really weird on how they approach the system. So this is this is what it reminds me. It's like Zingo and Ringo. I don't know if you guys know that show. But... <laughs> one second, one second, one second, one second. You're you're one second. Army. You're one, one, one second. The army in Sweden and the government tell you, "Come on, you have to come here, and you have to, you have to join the army. You can't desert us. Fight for the Swedish army. You will fight for them." Uh, nope. depend on. Oh, oh yeah, it depend on. Oh, okay. What's the Swedish government? Oh. Yeah, ah, that's the answer. It depends. Yeah. If the government's killing telling you to kill somebody, it depends. Yes, ah. yes. It depends to you know killing whom. Uh, of course, I'm not going to just to any war. Even uh, Khomeini asked me to go to war. I didn't do that because it was a stupid war. Okay. Exactly, because God, like God, clearly tells us yes. to refer back to God and His Messenger, yes. and 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 the authority, right? But if there's a division, if there's like a confusion between you and the authority, then you refer back to God and the Messenger. Yeah, the authority exactly. doesn't tell you, so mm -hmm. it's like it's very mm -hmm. it's very difficult to get to these people. But here we go. Mm -hmm. But the Swedish government oh, depend on if the fight, okay. if the fight oh, is just the fight. Oh, yes, okay, okay. I'm not going to bl oh. blindly follow anything. Okay. Okay? Blindly, okay. I don't follow. But you will kill people. No, yes, I oh, you will yes, kill. I would kill. Okay, okay. I, I would kill Ayatollah Fashi Khomeini. Uh, ISIS. Okay. I would kill okay. uh, Taliban. Okay? okay, go ahead. Killing those people who oppress. Is command of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay, you are you are killing, are killing our One second, one second. 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 One when the verses of God are discussed, they're just they're just laughing and having fun with the religion. Like you know, to them, the religion is just having fun, and yeah. And then I go do my five salats, and in my salat, I'm gonna be thinking about, wow, that man from Sweden was really funny. Ha 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 ha. No Quran, no thinking about the Quran, none of that. Exactly. Lahu alab. That's what the religion is. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And and when you're actually being serious, that you would fight the oppressor, they're making fun of you. Yeah, exactly. I I've been fighting. Uh, Iranian regime in 44 years, okay, uh, and that because they are oppressive, because they are killing people, they are you know robbing the country, and if Swedish government, uh, if Russia attacks Sweden, okay, yes, I would uh, defend you know the country because they have been attacking. They are the attackers, okay. But if Sweden tells me to go and occupy, let's say Denmark <laughs> or or other country, then of course I wouldn't do that. I, I, I wouldn't, uh, you know, join that uh, fight. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So exactly. it yeah, it depends on who is the right and who is the wrong side, you know. And, and it's all based on God's book. So exactly. if God's book, I have to look for God's guidance in any situation. So if it's yes. a matter of war, if it's matters of killing somebody, I have to see what God's book says, not what yes. the guy in the head uh, in the chair is saying. Exactly. Right. But ask them, ask them if these men will not be serious, but ask them about their own countries. Mm -hmm. If their own countries, if they're in Pakistan or India, wherever they're from, Bangladesh, let's say Pakistan, if they ordered them to do something, would they do it? No. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they know it's going against the rule of God. But to them, yeah, this yeah. apostasy law, which is not in the book of God, is, you know, no, no, this is something that we have to do. Yes. These guys are liars, is what they mm -hmm. are. They, as as you see, they're laughing at you. Mm -hmm. They're laughing at you because their religion is a joke. Yes, yes. Are there any people in your list of people that you would kill who are not Muslim? I have to fight is Khomeini. Is there anyone in your list of people uh, that you would kill who are not counted amongst the Muslims? Who are not? Who are not among who are not Muslims? Muslims. Yes. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean among not among so Muslims? Everyone you've listed is Muslim. Okay. Is potentially Muslim. Everyone you've listed that you okay, would, that you would kill. Yes. Tell me one people that you would kill that you are not that are not Muslim. Those who, you know, there are name lots of them. You name these. Name them. North Korea, the leader of North Korea. Okay. Thank you very much. All okay. the best. Yeah. Good Thank luck you. with that. Thank you. Good Bye -bye. luck with that. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Take care. All right. Take care. All right.
Brothers, we need to summarize this. Too. This is why it is crucial. Sorry, guys. We're just gonna have a quick. Uh, you can learn about your communication skills somewhere else, please. Thank you. All right. Is absolutely crucial. This is why ilm knowledge. All right. I just don't want to take their summary. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, One sided. One sided. I understand why he was asking in regards to is there anyone you kill? Oh, well, you are you willing to kill somebody that well, you gave him a correct answer of somebody who's oppressive. Yeah. So you they're oppressing, they're causing corruption in the land. Yes. Anyone who's causing corruption to the land at the level of that person, yeah. yes, you're supposed to fight them. Yeah, because exactly. those people, if you don't fight them, they scatter. Look, most of the government heads are all crazy. Why? Mm -hmm. Most of them are crazy, is because nobody fought them. So it's like his question is, is yes, but it Allah shows how Yes, Allah says in the Quran that why you don't fight for the oppressed, oppressed, you know. Right. Allah says in the Quran, right. I don't remember the verse, but he says, why you don't yeah, fight yeah. for the oppressed? And the, uh, and, the, the, and the weak women and the men and the children saying, God, please send yes. us somebody send us, and, yes. and save us from this. Yeah, exactly. So, but these, to them, the, to, to them, it's not it's not the Quran. To them, it's their religion is what daddy yeah. in the mosque keeps yeah. telling them. And then you said, of course, for example, they are from India. If the government of India said, go and kill Pakistanis in the war, would they do that? They wouldn't do that. No. Yeah, exactly. No. They, they would say, right. oh, this is, these are, uh, they are Pakistanis, our <laughs> Muslim brothers. I'm not going to kill. So you don't do anything government asks you. Yeah, taxes, they, they ask us, everybody pay. But to mm -hmm. go and kill people, no, why? I have to know what is, why I, I have to do that. The reason. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. Mm -hmm. No, I, I I totally agree with you, and that's that's pretty much where these conversations goes with these people, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But okay, Muzi, yes. what's your future plans? Uh, I would like to go there again if uh, uh, you know I get the opportunity, inshallah. And um, the plan is, uh, of course, continue with dawah. And I always say um, on my channel uh, that I don't debate other religion. I don't, you know, attack them because I see a lot of <clears throat> discussion about Christianity. Oh, Jesus wasn't son of God. <clears throat> I say that's not my my concern is that these uh, extremists, they are, uh, you know, destroying the beautiful image of Islam. <clears throat> so my only task is to <clears throat> show the true face of Islam to, to the people uh, on <laughs> earth, okay? That the Islam is not what these people say. Islam is a right. uh, you know, peaceful uh, <clears throat> religion. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, Islam is uh, doesn't allow us to kill uh, you know, people just for their beliefs or disbeliefs. It's right. just the fight is between <clears throat> oppressed and oppressors. There is no fight against you know, disbelievers and so on. <clears throat> Somebody asked you, you know, this uh, uh, thing as well has been rather about. Uh, kafir, they have been misinterpreting this uh, kafir <clears throat> that uh, they say kafir, uh, everywhere say kafir is disbelief. I would like to, uh, you know. No, no, it uh, isn't. Yes, I would like to say <clears throat> this as well, that chapter 16, verse 83 says, they recognize the favor of Allah, then they deny. It. So these are obviously are the disbelievers. Then Allah says, and most of them are kafir. So when you go to these translators, okay, this is 16, yes, 83. When do you go to the, the, the translators, they most of them, uh, you know, start those who have been, uh, you know, translating Kafir in previous verses. Here they, they in this uh, verse exactly, they change it to others, you know, other things. They don't say disbelief because uh, they realize that most disbelievers cannot be, be disbelievers, okay? Some of them, they say still uh, disbelievers, but many of them change that, uh, you know, th that thing. Then <clears throat> another thing is that, uh, for example, um, there, there, there is a Christian who say that, oh, chapter 98, verse 6 says that <clears throat> uh, Christian and Jews are, um, you know, the worst creature, uh, uh, you know, the worst, the the yes, yes, the worst creature. Yeah, the and I say, yes. Then it says, indeed, they who commit kufr among the people of the scriptures and yep. the politics. You know? So it says, I say, learn the, the you know, the, the grammar of the, 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 the verse that says, 
those amount, okay, indeed, they who commit uh, cough amount. If I say, I want to say Americans, I would say uh, Amer uh, fight Americans or Americans are the worst creature on the planet. But if I say those among Americans who are uh, KKK, they are the worst creature on the planet. So it doesn't mean all Americans. It means, you know, right. uh, a portion of Americans. So when I say Allah says here, those among people of the book, the kuffar among them. So it is a portion of them. And when you put these verses beside uh, chapter 3, verse 113, 14, and 15, Allah says not all of them are alike. A portion of them are righteous people and they are in the right. Rank. Yes, yes. Rank. And then <clears throat> another verse is also <clears throat> interesting that uh, Kof is uh, chapter 2, verse 250. Sorry. Fi, let me see here. Yes, well, well, uh, for, me, two, for me, this uh, can I say uh, this? Uh, chapter sure. two, verse well, when we told the angels, bow down before Adam, they all yeah. bowed, but not a bliss who refused and was arrogant, and he became a kafir. Iblis didn't disbelieve in Allah, he was talking to Allah, but he became mm -hmm. kafir. It doesn't mean that he became disbeliever, he rejected Allah's commands. That his right. rejection was kuf. Yes, brother, you want to say something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, one of the like the easiest ways for me to understand what kufr is, mm -hmm. right? Kufr, you usually see it next to the word shukur a lot. So yeah. God will be talking about gratefulness, and then yeah. He will talk about kufr. Mm -hmm. So kufr is ingratitude, and when you're ungrateful, you reject. Mm -hmm. Because if Iblis was grateful to God, he would have accepted, but he was ungrateful. He wanted more. So he, at this point, rejected God's command because he wanted something else. Yeah. So for me, kufr is, all, if someone is having multiple gods, that person rejects, is ungrateful for yeah. God's single essence. He wants multiple gods. So for me, kufr is always un ingratitude or rejection because of ingratitude. Yes. Another thing is that, like, chapter 2, verse 256, <clears throat> let there be no compulsion in religion, for the yep. truth stands out clearly from falsehood. So who becomes kafir? Who becomes kafir against tyrants and believes in God and has grasped a firm, unshakable support, and Allah is all hearing, all known. So here is Kof is rejecting again, rejecting the tyrants. Okay. So it is a positive Kof here in chapter 2, verse 256. So Kof is not disbelief. We don't disbelieve in tyrants, we reject them, you know. <clears throat> So Kof, uh, yes, there have been uh, always these uh, people say, oh, Quran say fight disbelievers. I always say, no, Quran never said fight disbelievers. It no, says, fight those who believe you, yes, oh, who, yes. who, who fights you, sorry. Yes, exactly. And, and there is no, uh, in the Quran, believers, or, the fight is not between believers or disbelievers. It's about, uh, you know, oppressed and oppressors. Read chapter 69, verse 40, okay? Uh, can you bring... I, okay. I put it. It's in front of you. Indeed, it's the world of an a word of an honorable messenger. Yes, yes. All right. This is actually pretty awesome. I need this for. Mm -hmm. I need to write it down first because when they keep saying no, it's the word of Allah. It's the word of Allah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it seems like here it's coming out of the messenger. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's if I want to look for the words of the messenger, where do I find it? In the Quran. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with that said, I lost my pen. Oh, mm -hmm. it's right here. Okay, so this was 6940. Sorry, Brother Muji, just give me a second. Yes, no problem. Because I'm compiling something, and this verse is pretty good. Thank you, uh, thank you, Fala. I'm going to guess sister, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, it's sister or brother. But um, yeah, so no, there's it. Uh, I think like you've done an excellent job with them. Thank you. And oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one again. Yeah. So no, uh, yeah, no, Brother Muji, I, I really appreciate you coming by. Thank and you um, I appreciate that you invited me, my brother. <laughs> okay. I got I, like, I got love for you, bro. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe some some stuff we don't see eye to eye, but I see your actual genuinity and your pursuit. You. Uh, I, I saw your discussions on modern day debate. Mm -hmm. I always pop by and say hi. Guys, make sure you follow uh, Muji's channel, Perfect Dawa. Uh, mm -hmm. show the support. We do need more voices. He's as yeah, you see, he's you. in the front line. 
He's willing to go meet them face to face in in speaker's mm -hmm. corner and and discuss. Uh, Muji, do you have any words for the audience? Because just so you know, I do have an yeah. obligation in about six or seven minutes. So yeah, it's all right, no problem. Just uh, be careful if you want to talk to me. Uh, there is a false perfect hour. <laughs> I have live stream, so make sure that it is <clears throat> um, my channel. If you want to talk to me every Saturdays, I go live. And everybody are welcome. And um, yes, if you subscribe, it will help me to, um, <clears throat> yeah, because these people, uh, I've heard them that say, oh, who are you? You don't have many followers, you know? So uh, the the uh, bigger your followers are, the more serious you, they take you, <clears throat> understand? So it is a Correct. great help for me as well that, um, uh, yes, I can carry on and, you know, clear our beautiful religion from these misconception mm -hmm. these uh, stupid uh, you know uh, lies hadiths, yes lies but um, <clears throat> yeah they have uh, every trash they wanted to put in people's mind like Bukhari I'll say uh, very fast Bukhari loved his mother and hated his wife <laughs> because he says the heaven is under brief mothers and then on another side he says that Prophet Muhammad put his head in the hell and he saw that the majority of uh, habitants in hell are women Okay, so it is very clear that he's he loved his mother and he hated his <laughs> his wife maybe and other women. So yes, um, and he's he says that um, there was somebody uh, in a, in a comment uh, asked me, oh why you reject Bukhari? And I put for him a, a, a hadith from Bukhari that says that uh, three things annual your your prayer uh, if they pass your your prayer a dog a donkey and a woman. I said, do you like that uh, Bukhari put your mother, uh, you know, in level of uh, a dog and donkey? He didn't answer. They, they, when you put them in this position, they realize that, okay, there is something wrong with this one. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, my brother, um, for having me here. Not a problem. Uh, you did you did say something a little earlier, and it reminded me of a, a short I didn't do too long ago. So people sometimes ask me, like, why don't you talk about Shia Hadith, or why don't you talk about, to the Christians and the Jews? Well, the Sunnis, they're always fighting them and they're showing the flaws. But if, the, like, yeah, I just, let me let me pull up the short. Uh, let, let, me say, us, yeah. but let me say that Shia also followed sure. these hadiths, you know. But I, right. I think this stoning is just in Bukhari. Uh, killing apostate is, uh, sorry, no, it's stoning. Killing apostate is just in Bukhari. And Shia uh, regime of Iran also followed that. So it is oh, not yeah. Oh, yeah. Shia, yeah, it is not Shia or <laughs> Sunni hadith, okay. They follow right. whatever they find that it is, uh, you know, killing people, they find and they they follow it. Okay, right. Whatever trash they find. Yes, I yeah. think I understand yeah. the question. Why yeah. don't you talk about Shia hadith? Why do you just focus on Bukhari? Okay, exactly. the Sunnism yeah. is the capable of whipping the majority of these people. Ahlus Sunnah wa Jamaa. There's Christianity. Jesus is not the Son of God. There's Judaism. Jesus is the Messiah. There's agnostics, atheists. God is real, and you have to serve Him. Shia. Ali can't hear you, bro. Ahmadiyya. That man is a liar. Ta, 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 ta. The only entity that's giving them a run for their money is who? Sunnism. But then we come. You only need the book of God. Yeah, why not? And we go on top of Sunnism. If I beat Sunnism, I beat them all. Well, brother, uh, Prophet Muhammad can't hear you, so... See what I'm saying? Why would I go fight the Hindus? Everybody beat the Hindus. Why would I fight the Jews? The Christians and the Muslims are beating the Jews. Why would I fight the Shias? The Sunnis are beating the Shias. So who's left? I have to take the king of the hill. That's why we focus on Sunnis. Fair See point. what I'm saying? I yeah. think I so that's that's honestly why we do need to fight that sect the most because they 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 give everybody else a, a tough time. So uh, my brother Mahdi Ahmed here is telling me to tell you. Which is the same in Arabic, by the way. Mm -hmm. Bukhari is full of Bukhar. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. <laughs> But yes. but this is why I keep calling them Bukhari Muslims, because you know yeah. Bukhari is the first book, Muslim yeah, is yeah. the second book. So they're yeah. Bukhari Muslim, which is steamy Muslims. Yeah. And where do you find the steam at the end? You're not gonna find steam in heaven, you're gonna find steam somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, may God may God save us from any form of idolatry, from yeah. any form of of associating to Him. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope God uh, makes your path easy for you, my brother, and may He, God, he accept your uh, your jihad. Thank may you. God um, uh, increase your efforts, and hopefully, this was beneficial for people to meet you. Finally, meet Muji from Perfect Dawa.
yeah. and to support you and to support the cause of uh, spreading the truth. Yeah, thank you. Really and, uh, yeah, thank you very much, my brother. Again, every Saturdays, please, 6 p.m. You have any question, any discussion, you are always welcome, everyone. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome, brother. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, Sat, I did have a question. I just wanted to see what the thing is. This is from Joseph. Uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to add it. We can review this together, Muzi, before you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me just pull it up. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Can you please explain Sahih Muslim? Sahih Muslim. I don't like to say Sahih because <laughs> when they call it, yeah, it's Muslim. So I called. Usually, yeah, so called. So, I usually say so called. Trust. Tr trash Bukhari, <laughs> you know? Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> why, why do I have to explain? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I guess this was a more so a joke than actual question. But let's put it on the screen. We can read it together. Okay. okay. Sorry, uh, Ashley, say which time zone? Uh, 6 p.m. London time, Ashley. Okay. Yep, 6 p.m. Okay. So UTC. Yes, Saturday, uh, Saturday uh, every Saturday. Yes. All right, so here it says Hudayfa reported directly from Allah's Messenger said, well, bro, when the drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 45 night, mm -hmm. the angel comes and says, my Lord, will he be good or evil? And both these things would be written. Then the mm -hmm. angel says, my Lord, would he be a male or female? And both of these things are written. And his deeds and actions, his death, his livelihood, these are all also recorded. Then his document of destiny is rolled, and there's no addition nor subtraction to it. This is complete false. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that after 40 or 45 nights, as mm -hmm. after the baby is being made, mm -hmm. that an angel will come and write pretty much everything. But we know scientifically that the gender is already assigned as soon as the sperm enters the cell. Mm -hmm. The chromosome is already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, telling you so this is the first lie mm -hmm. the second thing is uh it's not god deciding if somebody is good or evil god mm -hmm. has decided what is good and god decided what is evil and you have a choice and god exactly. knows your choice mm -hmm. but but god is not telling you you're good and he's not telling you you're evil he's mm -hmm. saying you have a choice and if you do those things then you're evil and if you do those things then you're good so this mm -hmm. is the second lie we've already discovered or discussed this and then his deeds and actions is death and livelihood, then the person has n no choice, no freedom of choice if this exactly. is the, the thing. Mm -hmm. And if this is the case, then I could sit in the corner right here and do absolutely nothing. And whatever money that God has said that I was going to get, I would have gotten it. Exactly. And, and, right? And if, yeah. if, if I sit in a corner and my destiny was not to get money, I can ask Muji for money right now and he would give it to me, right, Muji? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yeah. clears throat> no, these, so are, these are trash that, uh, you know, uh, that everything is written, okay? Because I mm -hmm. decide myself, uh, uh, as you said as well, in that case, God shouldn't, uh, Allah shouldn't punish us because mm -hmm. he has written that and we cannot, yeah. we don't have any control on that <clears throat> uh, there, there was a and by the way i wanted to uh, really uh, very much talk to this uh grayson he was playing also something from this uh, uh what is it um, one of these <clears throat> guys i forgot his name uh, ali khan <clears throat> i think his name mm -hmm. was that uh, i'm not he, sure that is uh, he's he's uh, this scholar or whatever no man ali khan yeah no man ali khan and no man yeah. ali khan was saying that Oh, before Allah created everything, okay, the universe, he created the pen. Prophet Muhammad said he created the pen. And he asked the pen to write everything from beginning to the end, okay? And the pen wrote everything from the beginning to the end. So, excuse me, you ask something to somebody, somebody to do is uh, as if as you don't know yourself. So if Allah himself knew who told the pen to write, who uh, taught the pen to write? It's Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Himself then. So why he asked right. the pen to write? Then if he knew the answer, I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous that you just blindly follow such a stories. Okay, first of all, Quran says uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad doesn't know the unseen. He doesn't know, uh, you know, the future. He doesn't know the unseen uh, as well. <laughs> and you people say that the uh, Prophet Muhammad. And uh, you know, put his head in hell, uh, and he saw these and many other things like this as well. That Prophet Muhammad said about this pen and so on. So these are you know really really ridiculous stories that uh, these people feed people with. And I have to say this that these are 
businessmen, brother right. Muhammad, oh, yeah. okay? They oh, yeah. are, their business is God, they sell God. So for them, the quantity is important, not the quality, okay? The more they have, the more they sell, the more money they get. This is, you know, mm. the way they, they live, unfortunately. Yeah. That's why they have to create all these stories, these books. They write all these books. If the book is just five pages, then they cannot sell it. So they have to fill it with rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. To it, to exactly. Make it, to make it thick. Yeah. So make, to make it this price. Exactly. Sorry. All right. 120 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. 120 pounds. Yeah, for it, nine it, books yeah. of if it, this. If it's five pages, then uh, they cannot sell it this much. That's why they have to find yeah. every single stories, you know, create the stories and so on. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brother Muji. Yeah, I apologize. I, I do have to. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I, thank you very much. I do thank have you, to. Brother, yes. thank, thank, you thank you for stopping by. Okay. I appreciate care. you coming by. Thank, thank you, everybody, you. for coming. Uh, stay tuned. This week, we're probably going to have another, uh, I'm probably going to have another debate session for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh I do. I am working on two videos. One with my brother Musa, in regards to the scientific the scientific discoveries that are aligning with the Quran, despite how people are seeing certain things. So the Quran is actually supporting uh, some of the stuff that people are discovering, which shows that God God has revealed more than what we observed fourteen hundred years ago. And I am making a video. I'm working on a video to uh, in regards to the chronology. The not, I mean the methodology of our position on why we take our positions and how to do the rituals. So all the questions about how do you do Hajj, how do you do Siyam or fasting, how do you do uh, the prayer, it's all gonna be answered in this concise uh, video. And uh, aside from that, we there are some other things online that I'm working towards. And uh, I hope you guys, uh, I, go, I hope you guys are one, doing well. May God forgive me and forgive you. Forgive you, Brother Muji, in the, in the world and the hereafter. And I hope we all meet in heaven. Any closing words, brother? Thank you. Just uh, don't forget every Saturday, everybody, uh, please sub subscribe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Thank Peace. You. Peace, everybody. Peace. Peace. <laughs> yes. Assalamu alaikum.